In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick Mac tip. This little tip shows you how to summarize text, any text you want, right from the application that you're in. Now, there's two things I'd like to say, first of all. Obviously, there are other summarized applications available, but I think it's kind of interesting to note that OS X has a summarize function built right into services, so you can use it directly in your applications. Conversely, not all applications support it. Apple applications definitely do. So let's say you're in Chrome or a different browser or wherever you are, and it doesn't have this service, just pop it open into Pages or Text Edit, and you're easily able to do it. So let's say you're on your favorite website in Safari. Mine happens to be uh, michaelsherlock.com, and if you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and check it out. And you browsed over to the Nokia N97 North American model review. Now it's pretty well written and concise, but for some reason you don't want to watch the whole thing, nor do you want to watch the 9 minute video review. You're really pressed for time. Just select the text. Even you can you can even select the picture, although I released the mouse by accident. So select the, all the text, and you don't have to worry about images or anything of that nature. And before you do anything else, you need to make sure that the service is enabled. So you can go Safari, Services, Service Preferences, or if you're not, if you want to choose a different route, go to System Preferences, Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts, Services, and then just scroll down, and under Text, you want to make sure that Summarize is selected. So we can go ahead and do that, then close it. Now, anytime in Safari or Text Edit or similar applications, you can go to Safari, Services, and a new thing called Summarize. Go ahead and click that, and it'll actually make a summary of the review, or whatever you typed in. And you can change if you want it to be one sentence, which probably isn't going to give you enough information. 100% would be the entire article. So let's move it to about here and see what we have. We have the dimensions from the beginning, so the N97, which measures 4.1 inches by 2.2 inches by 0.7 inches. is a dual slider. We also have uh, that the device allows you to listen to your content in three ways, dual external speakers from headphones connected to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or wirelessly with Bluetooth stereo headphones. You also have the sort of conclusion at the bottom. If you're in the market for a mobile media powerhouse, then yes, it is 100% worth the price. If you're just a casual user, I still recommend the phone, but it's not going to be as great, value, as great of a value for you. You also have different things here. So let's say we wanted to look at the article in only three paragraphs. The device allows you to listen to your content in three ways. A really cool media extra is the ability for you to output what's on the screen. And if you're just a casual user, I still recommend the phone. It does a fairly good job, obviously condensing a rather short article into, you know, further shorter, you know, three not even complete paragraphs. Obviously, it's not going to do a perfect job with getting the gist of the entire article. But I have found that on longer pieces, multiple pages, even documents, it does a pretty good job summarizing and condensing something of length down to something that's easy to digest. So again, you can find similar applications that cost money, some may be free, but this is a service built right into OS X. Even Leopard, Snow Leopard, Tiger may even have it, so you don't need to have the latest build of Snow Leopard for this to work. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Enjoy summarizing all the articles that you want instead of reading through the entire piece, although I suggest that you read them at michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.